Hello there. Most of us are familiar with the concept that a hot spell of weather can lead to thunderstorms. But what is behind these summer storms that can potentially be so violent? Why do we get them across the United Kingdom? Well, actually, there's a number of causes for summer storms. One is simply that we import them from France. The heat and humidity builds here through the day, and then the steering winds take them across the channel. This is the actual radar from Sunday night showing how the storms did develop. They tend to diminish as they cross the cooler English Channel, but can reinvigorate across land. And we did see a few thunderstorms on Monday morning. Another way of uh, creating big thunderstorms is by what we call convergence. Now, this can happen almost anywhere across the United Kingdom. It's when winds merge together. A classic example, really, across the southwest, just the way the geography is here. We can see the winds coming in from slightly different directions. They merge together. They get forced up through the atmosphere. The air cools as it rises, and it can form these big thunderstorms. They can go on to form chains of storms, but these uh, type of storms are actually often fairly localised. What we're going to see over the next... 48 hours or so is something on a much broader scale across the United Kingdom. And for that, we need to look higher up in the atmosphere. And when we look high up in the atmosphere, we always talk about the jet stream, that fast moving ribbon of air. This is the broad picture from last week. The uh, jet stream was well to the north of the United Kingdom, allowing things to be settled across the UK. Dry conditions for most places, high pressure dominating and temperatures building as the sun beat down day after day. What we've got now, however, is something different. The jet stream is shifting positions. It's moving further south, closer to the UK, and therefore introducing uh, moisture conditions from the Atlantic. But actually what's key to this is this little kink in the jet stream. As the uh, air moves around this little bend, or trough as we call it, once it reaches the other side, it can tend to slow down. And as it slows down, well, that can lead to things turning unstable through the middle and upper part of the atmosphere. So we are destabilizing things aloft across the United Kingdom. That's what's going on high up in the atmosphere. What's going on at lower levels? Well, here, of course, we've had the temperatures rising, not just across the UK, but across much of northwestern Europe. Hot and humid air has been building up across northern France. And now, at low levels, we've got southerly winds drawing in that hot and humid air across the United Kingdom. So, at low levels, the air is hot and humid. Hot air is always going to rise. But crucially now, because the air at medium levels is unstable, there is nothing to stop that air going all the way to the top of the atmosphere. That's a large area of our atmosphere where clouds can build. As the air rises, it cools and condenses and forms clouds. But because we've destabilised the air, those clouds can go pretty much from the bottom of the atmosphere right to the top, right to the levels where the jet planes fly. So that is an awfully big cloud, or what we call a cumulonimbus cloud. And we're going to see more and more of those forming over the next day or so. They then turn into thunderclouds, of course, and uh, release huge amounts of rain in a relatively short space of time. Warm air, of course, can hold more moisture. So summer storms are often violent, and uh, that's what we're in for over the next day or so. There are warnings in force, and um, you should stay tuned to the weather forecast as best you can. Always find out more on the BBC Weather website.